So I'm just going to do a little short tutorial on the Hubson High Edition Transmitter um, H7000 that comes with the 109S High Edition. And also, if you want to fly the uh, not, uh, the Droid Transmitter with the H501S, it'll work just fine. As you can see, I got uh, some other transmitters here. Uh, the standard here that goes with the 501 and then the um, the high edition of the 501S and then this is the standard transmitter um, that comes with the H109S. Uh, notice how that has four ports in front of it uh, that's kind of like the older style. The newer style has two ports in front uh, which also has a GPS. So the cool thing about this is all these transmitters fly each one of these quads. They're they're, they're swappable. Uh, the only thing is the voltage may not be the same uh, for the quadcopter, but they do fly each other. So let's start here by turning on the H7000. And on this, you got to push and hold down the button. And once you do that, it'll power up the screen. If you take a look at the uh, board here, um, this is the transmitter board right here. Here we have our 5.8 uh, gigahertz uh, receiver for the video. Here's our 2.5. But you can see it's it's really by itself here. Um, you can actually turn off the droid part, which is all this, and fly your quad without the droid on. And there's only probably a couple uh, things here that talk to this board. Uh, your power comes in here. You got to push and hold the power button down and that's what uh, turns on this board. So when you do turn on your H7000 this is probably uh, what you're going to get. Of course we have the data link lost because uh, I haven't turned on that quad but let's say you're in your house and you want to set some waypoints and um, so you're you know maybe trying to click around here and just you know I don't know nothing nothing really seems to happen here. What I have found is when you have the transmitter on it is going to send out some signals to the transmitter. So if you notice on the top those are all lit and that is actually that location is actually being sent by the transmitter itself. So what I like to do is turn off the transmitter and come over here. Some of you uh, may turn on your transmitter and if you, there's a button back here, if you push and hold this button it'll bring this up and if you see the airplane mode is on you're gonna have to turn that off because in order to populate the maps you're gonna need to turn that off. Next thing you're gonna want to do is come over uh, here and you're gonna want to go to your internet connection go to your Wi-Fi and you're going to want to connect to the Wi-Fi so we can get the maps but uh, before we do that let's take a look at this if you notice now we have lost our values up here because we turned off our transmitter now if you notice this button in the right hand corner that actually is find transmitter location so if I push that button well I don't have any Wi-Fi so I'm not going to get a lock on that. If I push this find here, if I push this button, it's going to lock on to where my quad is. So alternatively, I could hook up my uh, 109S and have it lock on the GPS, and I'd be able to uh, get my maps. But in this case, I just want to get my maps in the house. I don't want to turn the quad on, or maybe I even want to get the maps to a location that I'm going to go. So what I found is turn off the power. Come up here, turn on your internet, okay we'll try that again and again, there's our Wi-Fi, I turned it off so I'm going to turn it on, so that should connect automatically, so let's go back here. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to find location using our Wi-Fi. Now, I don't know if this works in all areas, but it does work for me. So what you're going to do is this is going to find the location of the quad. The transmitter sends out this location, which is in the middle of whatever. I guess it's uh, Hubson's Triangle here. And as you can see there, I'm starting to get the maps. So that's the default location. It just sends out this wild GPS, and that's where it's going to be. But if you come up here in the right-hand corner and see that little, that little icon there, push that button. And what that's going to do is it's going to find your location based on your transmitter. So let's uh, come in here. You always want to make sure this is correct if you connect to a cell. Uh, may be incorrect, so you want to make sure uh, that this is uh, definitely your location. So, so let's take a look at this. Let's let's hit the find button. So that's going to take us to the default location that the transmitter sent, or we push this button up here, and it's going to take us back to where we are, Wi-Fi. So now you can come in here with your points. Uh, you can uh, hit points. Hit points, bring in your diagram, and get that ready. Then you'll have that all saved uh, for when you go fly. So, let's find our quad. This is the location where it is in the middle of nowhere. Let's go find our transmitter based upon Wi-Fi. Well, now let's try it with the power on. And let's see what happens there. So we got to push and hold that down. Now, if you notice, we've got our numbers populated here, which is coming from the transmitter. And now it's just sending us a wild location. So this is where it's kind of a problem because you're trying to squeeze this in, maybe trying to go over, and it's trying to lock on that location. So turn that off. Push this, and you're all set to do your waypoints. All right, see my other videos for other tips. Thank you.